Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks. And today I'm gonna to show you how to use Apple Messages on your Mac to send and receive Android, MMS, and SMS. And we actually covered this app in the past, but a lot of cool new features have been added since then, so it's definitely worth revisiting. Plus, we've got with the developers and we'll be doing a promotional giveaway for their awesome service. So stay tuned till the end of the video for more info on that. But the app I'm talking about here is called SMS for Apple Messages, and it basically bridges the gap between an Android phone and an Apple computer. You see, Mac owners who have iPhones can simply open the Apple Messages app on their computer, then they'll see all the SMS and MMS messages from their phone. It's a great feature too. You can send and receive messages using your regular phone number, and you can seamlessly switch between devices to continue your conversation. But none of this cool stuff works if you own an Android device. So the Apple Messages app on your Mac is basically useless without an iPhone. But that's where SMS for Apple Messages comes into play. With this one installed, you'll be able to send and receive messages from your Mac just as if you had an iPhone. And since we last covered it, they've added two big new features. First, the app now supports MMS, so you can get picture messages and even participate in group chats. Then secondly, and this is a bigger deal in my opinion, but the app now uses end-to-end -end encryption, which has two upsides. For one, that puts it in line with Apple's policies, so there's no security warning message anymore. But more importantly, this means that when your messages travel from your Mac to their servers to your phone and beyond, they're 100% private. So to get this one going, the first thing you'll need to do is install the SMS for Apple Messages app on your Android device. The app itself is available for free on the Google Play Store. So search it by name to get it installed, or you can use the link in step one in my full tutorial. Then when you first launch the app, you'll be greeted by a handy setup guide. Go ahead and flip through this, making sure to read carefully of course. Then towards the end here, you'll be asked to create an account. This account is for the SMS for Apple Messages app itself, so it's not your Apple ID or anything like that. But then once you've created the account, you'll see another setup guide. This one's for setting up the Apple Messages app on your Mac. So let's head over there to see how that works. Now over on your Mac, basically just do what the Android app is telling you to do. To start, open the Apple Messages app, then head to the Messages menu at the top of the screen and choose Add Account. From here, click this drop-down menu on the pop-up, then make sure to set it to Jabber, which is the officially supported protocol that the Android app is using. Next, make sure to leave all these options selected as they already are by default, then just fill out the username and password fields. For the username, it'll be the same as the account name you created in the Android app, but with at iChat.MDRS.io added to the end. The Android app will give you that information, so if you're not sure, just take a look at your phone, then copy that stuff over and enter the password you created earlier. When you're done there, you're really done with setup. The Apple Messages app should automatically sync any of your active SMS conversations, and they'll show up right in this list. From there, you'll start receiving new message notifications on your Mac, and you can respond right from your keyboard. But if your phone is running Android Marshmallow or higher, there's one more thing to take care of on that end, so let's head back over there. Now again, this is only if your phone is running Android 6.0 or above. Because of the new Doze feature, the Android system might sever the connection between your phone and your computer if the phone goes into deep sleep mode. That shouldn't be an issue for the most part, but to make sure you don't miss any messages, start by heading to the battery menu in settings. From here, tap the three dot menu button, then choose battery optimization. Next, tap the drop down menu at the top of the screen, then select all apps. Finally, just scroll through the list of apps, then select SMS for Apple messages, and set this to don't optimize, then press done. With that finished, you'll now have a seamless Apple message experience, just like iPhone users get, so it's a really awesome setup. But about that promotional giveaway I mentioned. Now normally, the free version of SMS for Apple messages will let you send up to five messages a day, which should be fine for some folks. But if you want unlimited messaging from the Apple messages app, that would increase the load to their servers, so they understandably have to charge a fee. Normally, unlimited access would cost you either $4.99 per month or $29.99 per year but the developers have been kind enough to offer us a promotional price. So as a Gadget Hacks exclusive, we have a promo code that you can use to reduce the price down to just $1.99 for the full year, which is an absolute steal. So to get that promo code, as well as instructions on how to apply it, just head to my full tutorial on our new site at GadgetHacks.com. As always though, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time folks, but until then, Happy gadget hacking.